To see how I made this beautiful farmhouse wooden tea tray, stay tuned. Okay, what I used to make this tray was this wooden frame or plaque, I guess, from Joann's. I got this about a year or so ago on clearance um, from their spring collection um, at the time. And it was originally, I think, $14.99, and I think I got it for like a couple dollars, two or three dollars, because it had gone down to like 80% or something like that. So I... Didn't know what I was going to do with it at the time, but since it was just unfinished wood, I just figured I'd figure out something down the road. So right here, I'm just taking off the um, stickers and price tag and all that stuff. I picked up these wooden um, balls, I guess, or knobs from Michael's, oh gosh, years ago, and they were in my stash. And so they were, I think, like 50 cents a piece or something like that. So I pulled those out because I knew they work as like a base or feet <laughs> for the tray. So I'm going to use some um, E6000 to attach them right here i'm just showing you the three different paint colors that i'm going to use to achieve that um sort of chalked farmhouse um finish on the tray um and i'm just putting it on this foam plate i keep a you know a package of these plates in the craft room just for this purpose um and you know you can pick these up at dollar tree i think there's like 30 in the pack or whatever because once i'm done i could just throw it in the trash can <laughs> nice little tip um just keep them in your craft stash you don't have to wash anything other than your brush Okay, now I'm going to attach the feet to the tray. Um, again, I'm using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to go ahead and help it set quickly. And once it completely dries, you know the E6000 will give it a permanent hold. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just eyeballing where they're going. Um, it's not hard, you know, it's just four of them and you can just kind of line them up with the one that you've already attached. Super easy to do. And then I'm just gonna let those set and um, dry. Now I'm just gonna start with the painting process um this is why i love unfinished wood you could give it any type of finish any type of um paint process whatever you want to do and um that's why i always try to pick up little things like this especially if they're on clearance um you know if you don't have a project in mind just throw it in your stash and when you do have one you've already got something that costs you hardly anything and you can create something fabulous So what I'm doing is just tapping into all of the colors to give it that sort of faded, whitewashed um, painted look, I guess, of old wood or reclaimed wood. Um, it's just a black, a gray, and a white color, and they're all a matte finish paint. And I'm painting uh, with the grain of the wood so that it, um, you know, looks a little more realistic, like old aged wood.
And I'm sure if you can't find something like this on clearance, you could probably use items from Dollar Tree to create this. I've seen tons of videos um, of some talented ladies here on YouTube that have created trays using, you know, the uh, framed art or the, you know, shadow box art, so to speak, from Dollar Tree. But I wanted something a little bit bigger um, for the purposes that I'm going to use it for. So, yeah. And you can probably go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere and pick up a piece of wood, a scrap wood or something like that as well. And now I'm painting the bottom. You want to make sure you get the bottom as well. Um, some people leave them, you know, as is or whatever, but I wanted a more finished and completed look. And I'm making sure that I paint the uh, feet or the balls on the bottom as well. And here it is all styled up. Um, I have my little tea set or tea serviced here and I have some of the faux fruit for decorative purposes to bring in a little fall touch and I lined it with a silver placemat that I picked up on clearance. You know I'm the clearance queen. Um, and I love how it looks. I love this little tea service. I keep a tea service in my diva space and I love to have tea while I craft so I love 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 how this turned out um, it's really easy super simple and you can get as creative as you want to when it comes down to projects like this so yeah that's gonna do it um, thanks for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe so that you can see more DIYs like this and until my next video I will see you guys later bye